back for another video. I look super blown out here, huh? Much better. Ooh, my lens. All right, there we go. So, got a handful of things to do today. Um, first things first, got this package here from NGP. I haven't ordered from them in a while. I used to order from them all the time when I had my uh, R32. But uh, open this up. I got to get the car up on jack stands, get all the wheels off so I can... I got to adjust the toe in the rear. It's two toed out. I got to raise the front slightly because the tires rub and um, put the fender liners back on in the rear, take my downpipe out, take that to go get coated, and there was some, oh, and drill out those brackets for the uh, sweat bar coming. So this right here is, so you guys know, I made a couple videos. I bought two PTP turbo blankets over the years and they've done me great. I really don't feel like spending another like almost $200 on one. And plus I'm getting the downpipe coated and it's gonna be dark, it's gonna look dope. So I decided to try out the Forge blanket. Um, partially because I'm cutting pennies at certain spots. I wanted to try another brand as well and this one has buttons on it. Like with the PTP I had to use either safety wire or springs. I believe this does come with springs, but don't quote me, yeah, it does have springs, but I think it has buttons as well. But this should really match the uh, coating of the downpipe. So I figured it'd be cool to kind of keep a little theme going here, but it's nice, it's dark. Um, you can see here, like there's these buttons that go. It should make installation a little bit easier. I mean, really, it doesn't matter because I'm gonna be installing this when it's the motor's out of the car, but uh, it should look pretty cool, it's nice. It's fluffy, I shouldn't touch it too much. I believe there's like, uh, what's it called? There's fibers in it, not carbon fiber or whatever. What's a fiberglass? Fiberglass, so. This will be a nice little addition to the engine bay. Um, also, I have like, this is like all parts and shirts, so. The fluid amper here, Oh, in the last video, if you guys didn't see, you need to check it out. Uh, Paul from over at Shop Dap sent me a bag of uh, gears from my blown up differential that trash my whole transmission so i'll be giving some of that stuff away with purchases of shirts totally random so don't beg uh oh i need to put the spring back in there whoops got a couple springs to help uh hold the turbo blanket on there but oh also my dad got me a super dope gift for christmas it's it's an electric jack which i won't really use in the garage that often it's more for like i'm at the track I don't have time to like lug a freaking, um, you know, a floor jack, you know, from wherever my Jeep sparked to the car or whatever. So this is like a quick, eh, lift it up real quick, throw a sand under it, throw a wheel off, adjust the brake or, you know, whatever you need to do. Um, I'm going to test it out today. I haven't tested it out yet at all. Hopefully it works good. This is really super. I had no idea what I was getting from Christmas from my, oh, I shouldn't say my dad, from my parents. And uh, yeah, I'm just, I'm excited to try it out. So. We're gonna go use that jack to get the car up on jack stands. We're gonna have to move a couple things out of the garage. We have so much stuff packed in there and it's not all the best organized because of the engine build. I got bins everywhere, this, that, and the third, so let's go do that. Oh boy, look at her. All nice and dirty, so we're gonna get her jacked up here. I'm gonna break all the wheels loose. Get her jacked up, get this big freaking, I can literally fist this hole. <laughs> Get that out of there. And there's a couple spots down in there I want to clean. Like, that's all nasty down under this heat shield. I want to get that stuff clean. Um, I got to sit. I got to draw out these holes. Get those brackets off. She is just so dusty and dirty. And you got the newbies here. And then this sexy machine. Shoo! This is something I want to do, too. If you guys know where I can get, like, a cutout like this um, for the golf, I would really, really like that. I'd like cut up my racing line intake and kind of force force air into that or just get a new intake. But I'd really like a cutout like that for the uh, the high beam side, not the low beam side, but it'd be dope. Let's get to work. All right, guys. So here's the kit I was talking about. Um, the only thing that, like, obviously I haven't used it yet. The only thing that kind of sucks, the only way you can get power to this stuff, because it's made to, like, you know, you're on the road or whatever. So you got a lighter socket thing, and then you got like this adapter that goes to that to put on your battery to use it. There's, I thought, I was thinking like this adapter was for a wall plug, 
but there isn't. So, man, my battery is sitting over there. I take it on and off the trickle charger every couple of days or whatever, but obviously there's no battery in that. She's having battery issues with the M3. I have a socket in the back of the Jeep, so I'm gonna back the Jeep up and hopefully that's enough room to uh, to reach everywhere, or at least the front so I can at least try it out. My dad's been bugging me. He wants to see it, see it in action, so i move all this junk. And if anybody got a, a 2016 Ram or a 2015-ish, like these body, and you want some some of these guys, if we still have them, let me know. We'll just, I, I, we will sell these for what they cost to ship. I mean, we don't we just need to get rid of them. Cars look much better without them. All right, so I got the Jeep backed up as close as I can in here. Um, I tested out the jack. It's actually pretty neat. Uh, you got this little adapter cable for power, and then you just uh, hold up, and it'll go down. Not too shabby, and it's fairly lightweight. So I'll stick this baby under here. Um, I'll line it up. Hit that up button. Hopefully you guys can even see that. Yeah. Ooh. All right, here we go. Let's see, Let's see this baby. Wow. That is actually pretty neat. All right, I'm impressed, not gonna lie. I mean, it is a scissor jack, so it ain't the safest thing, obviously. We got jack stands on standby, but I mean, it does seem like decently heavy duty. Raise this front end up a little bit. I need to order new fender liners too. Look at how messed up these boys are, jeez. Well, there you go, dad. It works. That thing is actually way more neat than what I thought it would be. Uh, shout out to my parents. Thank you. And uh, here's a New Mexico sunset for you. It's very pretty out today. Anyway, got the car up on jacks. I couldn't use that tool for the rears because it just the cables don't reach, but if it was plugged in inside, I'd be able to reach each corner because you got uh, sockets front and rear. Didn't know where to put, I used to put the jacks on the back on the old subframe. There was like a couple flat spots on either side, like near where the control arms went, but I don't want to put those jacks on this tubular frame. I'm scared I'm going to bend something or break something. So I just have them like the jacks are maxed out on the frame rail up there, which I'm not even going to be able to use once the cat backs back on, but I, I got like <laughs> half an inch on either tire to uh to get them off so i'll pop them off need to like i said the toe is kind of kind of off i need to bring the toe in ever so you can't tell now because there's, there's no weight on it but i need to disconnect that down pipe from mid pipe with the cat back and the uh the exhaust hanger down there on the subframe that way my boy jesse gets here later i can throw this in the back of his car and you can take it to lubbock and get it coated for me but uh, other than that, like I said, I'm gonna drill those damn things out. Man, it's nice working on the car again. It's been, beginning of the week was kind of cold. Now it's warm. So at least today I can get some shit done. I hate, hate the cold. Hate working in the cold even more. And I work outside most of the day. So coming home from work after working outside all day in the cold, not a good time. Not, not a good time at all. Very unmotivating. <laughs> so get these back a little bit. <coughs> get these. Damn fender liners back on too. It's just one thing after another. When you do so many things on a car at a time, you forget to do things that you probably should do. So maybe some of you guys can tell me what the function of these are. This is these are for the axle bolts. So on the rear axles, I forgot to put these on. Um and they're torqued down pretty hard. Obviously I can take them off. I'm gonna have to order new bolts because they're one time use torque to yield. But these are actually important, then I will. I'm gonna look it up, but um, I just want to ask you guys, like, what what do these do? I really have no idea. I don't think that they do they like lock when they torque. Do they like squeeze these? Does this like kind of get sque squeezed together so it keeps tension on the bolt so that they won't back out or what? I mean, I lock tighted all of them. Never really plan on taking that rear end back out. Well, actually, I do because I'm gonna get a rear LSD at some point, but. Um, 
Yeah, hopefully they aren't too important. I'm gonna be upset. But I'm gonna toss these fender liners on real quick. Get this exhaust out. I'm gonna call it a day. I need a shower. I need to go get food, and then I got a nice long drive ahead of me tonight to go pick up this uh, short block and head. So here we go. Well, got the fender liners on. That's pretty boring to watch. Pick it up under here. We got the old track slag boy. Skirt. Got those two bolts there. These two bolts here with an electric ratchet. This should only take like two minutes. So let's break these babies loose. Get this downpipe out. And I can go get in the shower and eat. I am starving. I am freezing. And ready to drive. Well, there we go. We got old boy out now. Nice and thick. Can't wait to see this thing all cleaned up. Nice and black. It's going to be dope. I'm just going to remove this O2 sensor as well. And just put a bolt in there since I don't use a secondary O2. Um, save a little bit of weight, you know. So, <laughs> um, yeah. So that'll be next up on the list of things to get done. Now we can drill out those sway bar bushings uh, another day, probably Sunday or something maybe, or Monday. I got shit to do Sunday. Be gone all day tomorrow, the next day. So we'll get back to this. I'm gonna go save this stuff on the computer and then we'll be making a vlog in between this video. And uh, yeah, check out my mess of things. I got my nice built trans over there. I think I need to, December 21, oh no, so I'm good. still good on my inspection. I thought it was off. All right, so wash my hands, move the Jeep, take a shower. Wow, I really do look like I'm 12 again. <laughs> That's crazy. Um, so it's been a while uh, since we tried to finish this video. Now, I don't know where I put those sway bar bushings. I guess I put them inside. So the ECS brackets came in. I don't know if I told you guys, but ugh, this is a whole scenario. But I wound up emailing ECS, got... They haven't sent me their bra I got such a lisp. But literally just put in like a new set of braces last night. So I'm getting adjusted to them. But so I've got the new PowerFlex bushings that are the proper size, which is 24 millimeter for the golf bar. Ugh. So these bad boys here, and I came with lube. And since you have to drill out the OEM ones i'm gonna wind up destroying them probably because i can't like get actually drill the rivet out from the bottom since you actually have to remove the whole sway bar off the car and with the car in its current position i can't do that so got these brackets from ecs like 50 bucks bushing sits right in there it's got nuts uh made into them so we'll just go slap these on drill those out slap these on hopefully it's that simple i'm tired of touching this thing already so also, already got the motor back. Like, this is, like I said, way ahead in time. So, after I'm done with this, I can end this video and I'm gonna go put the cylinder head on the car. So, you guys got a lot to see. Stay tuned. Let's do this real quick. All right, I was gonna kinda do like a DIY walkthrough for this, but I do not recommend this to anybody. It is terrible, it is horrible, especially if, you, if the, the bar is, you know, like halfway installed in the car. Very annoying. So you get, you gotta drill this baby out, right? You got this, you gotta drill it out from the bottom. There's like these rivets built into the nuts that go through. So you gotta drill those out. Then you get to the bushing and you can't even just take the bushing off. It's, it's like layered in plastic, super hard. And it's like molded to the bar. So you gotta like get in there and pry it. And I just sit here with a razor for forever, like getting all the, the rubber off. Very annoying, cut myself several times. Um, now I gotta do the other side. I'm gonna take this heat shield off. You can see how dirty it is in there. And uh, clean some of this area up while I'm here. But yeah, this one's gonna be a pain. And looking at the design here, you can see how this one's kinda, yeah. Like these bushings are made for that, you know, that indentation. This doesn't have that at all. So I'm kinda worried that uh, these might actually like wind up popping out. And I really hope they don't, but if they do, I know why, and I'll just, I guess, upgrade sway bars at that point, but I wouldn't even consider this, like I said. If you're going to do something up front with the sway bar, I guess just get a, get a bigger one, but yeah, whatever. Just just don't do this. Not fun. <laughs> oh, boy. Well, as you can see, it's kind of the end of the day now. Um, this stuff took quite a while to clean up really good on the bar to be able to put the, the new bushing on there. <clears throat> 
know how well we're going to be able to see here. Let me give them a light for you. But uh, the new ones are in. Oh. The new ones are in. Uh, everything's nice and tight. New hardware. Um, I wound up like cleaning a bunch too. Like this whole area was super caked with stuff, and this thing was like pretty much black. So cleaned up a little bit. Where you put this engine and trans? In? I need to grab paint to paint the trans. Um, yeah, all types of stuff. But we're busy debadging her Ram. She got new emblems coming and stuff. So we've been doing that. It's starting to get cold. Now we need more plastic razors. First time ever using them. They're really, really cool. But uh, yeah, we're gonna do that. And then we're gonna put the head on, cook dinner. So, see the end of this video. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure you hit that thumbs up button, please. Uh, check all the links in the description for me. And um, I'll catch you on the next one. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.